Sandy Black is Professor of Fashion and Textile Design and Technology at the London College of Fashion. In recent years, one of the projects she has been undertaking has been Considerate Design, which was part of the Designing for the 21st Century Research Programme, co-funded by the AHRC and the EPSRC. The project encompassed consideration of the entire life cycle of fashion products and the customization of the products to the consideration of the end user. In addition, it looked at more efficient use of materials by minimizing waste and reducing labor costs for assembly. One of the sub-projects of this research has been to produce bespoke functional bags such as backpacks and laptop cases, ergonomically designed to fit the body. This new design process involved the use of individual 3D measurements from body scan data and rapid prototyping technology. These new technologies were then used to mould bespoke panels for each personalised bag. As principal investigator of the project, Professor Black brought together academics, fashion and textile designers, including renowned leather bag designer Stephen Harkin, and computer and material scientists to produce the bags. This film shows some of the key processes involved in making the bags. Data from the scan yeah. has been fitted to an avatar. Yeah. So it's used the size measurements from the original data cloud to distort a, um, an avatar figure into that shape. So what you've got is right. what we're seeing is the actual mesh yeah. from so the human morph, avatar. You've got a morphing of two. So you've got a, um, a generic avatar, if right. you like. It's and the then same your, for everybody. Yeah, and, mm -hmm. your, and then your point cloud, your size data, which is being mapped onto yeah. that generic um, avatar. One of the, the interesting things yeah. that, that's come out of doing this project is yeah. that we've begin, begun to question the technology mm. because actually you know, some, some of these machines, like the machine we use here, uh, printing in plaster, the, the materials are 100% recyclable but with, with, the, with the plastics and um, they have to refresh um, the powder mm. each time. I'll probably put in a false layer between the two somewhere so that if you're carrying a laptop, for example, it sits flat and it's not actually sitting against your back and may perhaps try and build in some foam. Yeah. Uh, so what I think is absolutely fascinating about this, uh, seeing my back, all I saw, of course, was the way that a quarter of it was going into the machine. And um, I had in mind the version that I saw on the first screen in the sort of 3D package, which was all smoothly rendered as a, as a version of my back. And that's what I thought would come out. But of course, I forgot that what we really saw, um, the, 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 the program that's actually feeding the instructions to the rapid prototyping machine was actually the faceted version. And so I think it's fantastic to have a whole a sort of mathematical version of my back, which is really interesting with all its, uh, you can see its sort of shadows and so on there. So I find that uh, amazing that I'm here. I am looking at a 3D version of what I never normally see, which is my back. Not rocket science at all. Is what I do is I soak the leather in the hot water. It seems to absorb it really fast. Yeah, it's mm. really really porous, isn't it? Yeah, very very porous. Like so I'm just going to wring it, try and wring it out a bit. Um, what happens with this? If you get it <coughs> when it's quite wet, it becomes it's quite elastic. So it will bounce back on itself, and you can see that uh, it's swollen. The oh, thickness yes. of the leather is swollen oh, yes. quite yes, a bit. Yes. Um, there's a bit of a trick in choosing the thickness of the leather. Around about 2 mil to 2.5 is good for this. Mm -hmm. If it's too thick, it's too hard to mould, and if it's too thin, it won't hold its, mm -hmm. its, the body. Now normally, as I said earlier, what I would do is I would work this this way yeah. with the finished side to the outside. But I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually reverse this so that we're going to actually have, because the part, this part will be against your body, so this will mm. be the finished side yeah. that's against your body. Yeah. So really, on these high points, I want to stretch. And on these lower points, I'm actually working it to compact it. Now this is quite yeah. easy yeah. because we haven't got any real radical curves. And I suppose, yeah, that's what I like about it. I like it. find 
found this whole project really fascinating and interesting because it is about modern technology and ancient technology mm. sort of coming into, coming into yeah. yeah, combining. Mm. The idea, theoretically, is, is, is that we took the moulding from the three, 3D model. Yeah. And I worked on the basis that, this, that um, by moulding the leather and the shape of your body, that a lot of the weight should get be carried on your hips, uh, not just across on the shoulders, etc. So, um, would you like to try it on? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, it feels comfortable. It does feels really comfortable. Wow. Really? It does. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, good. Cool.